this is what we are told to reproduce to draw there's something i want to make you understand what does it mean for something to be external we've been saying external and i've seen external internal what it means to be for a circle to be external whereby you're going to be adding the radiuses is that if i should complete this circle here we are done with our diagram here but to explain to you what external internal is is this if i should complete this circle here this way right this is a bigger circle can you see that and these two circles we are considering they are external to this circle so whenever two circles we are considering are external to a circle you're going to add their what their radiuses you add the radius of this plus this to get an arc and you also add the radiuses plus this also the radius of this circle and this circle to get the other arc i will go down and when you see that internal and you're subtracting this is what it means i place it here and i come I come to this point w and i come here Okay. Now look at what is happening now. It is getting bigger. Right? So it means that this is the bigger circle. And these two circles are inside the bigger circle. That's why it is internal. It is inside a bigger circle. External. It is outside a bigger circle. Is that taking now? These are the difference between internal and external. Whenever a circle is inside a bigger circle, just like you're seeing, which you what you subtract the radiuses. Whenever the circles are external, the bigger circle, you create what you add the radiuses. Is that taking now? So I do call it um going in, you're going to add the radiuses. When the circle is coming out, you subtract the radiuses. When the circle is coming in, you add the radiuses. So this is what we just have here.